so there are different uh, kind of informations which are displayed on the screen the bike is turned on since 7 minutes and average speed uh, when i last rode on my bike was 22 kilometers an hour by pressing set button you can switch navigate through these options Hey, what's happening guys? My name is Spawn and I'm back with another video. Sometimes it is really complicated to handle or operate the digital console on a KTM and uh, we are too lazy to read the user manual. So here I am to help you all understanding and operating the features of the digital console on a KTM. This is applicable to Duke 200, Duke 390, RC390 and RC200 as well. So to start with, we have seven different infos displayed played on the screen now first one is speed as you can see this is the speed the speed is shown in kilometers per hour or miles per hour depends upon the country or the setting which you have kept your bike on by pressing the mode button you can navigate through these settings this is the mode button if you press the mode button for 5 to 10 seconds while you are on odo screen this is the odo screen keep the mode button pressed for 5 to 10 seconds as you can see now the odo screen changed to miles it is showing the reading in miles now previously it was like uh, 15,000 kilometers or something now it is 9,321 miles on odo and uh, my bike will show the speed in miles only this is miles per hour so let's change the setting back again to the normal one go into the auto screen press the mode button for five seconds and we have kilometers back again 14,998 second one is tachometer this is the tachometer over here tachometer shows the engine speed in revolutions per minute Whenever you rev your bike, it goes up and whenever you keep it on idle, it stays in place. For example, if it is at 2, that means 2 into 1000, as you can see 1000 over here. There are 2000 times revolutions per minute. I'll show you guys how. Let me get the bike on neutral. As you can see, as you can see it is now on idle between 1000 and 2000 rpm and when I rev the bike it will go off. That's it. So there are two different settings inside tachometer uh, regarding rpm that is rpm 1 and rpm 2. Press the mode button hard till you see trip 2. I am on trip 1 now. This is trip 2. Then press the mode button for 5 to 10 seconds. Press and hold it for 5 to 10 seconds till you see RPM 1. As you can see over here, RPM 1, it is set to 12,200. So RPM 1 is the engine speed above which the gear shift indicator light will start to flash this will flash this light will start to flash that tells you that you have to change the gear so to increase the speed press mode button the numbers will increase the max i can go is 12450 and to decrease the speed press set button so it was at 12200 i'll keep it like that only so what it does it will tell you when to switch gears so same thing for RPM2, press mode button hard and repeat the same till you see trip 2, then press set button for 5 to 10 seconds. Now you can see RPM2, so by pressing mode button you can increase, by set, set button you can decrease, so max is 12500. RPM2 is the engine speed above which the shift gear indicator light will glow and remains glowing. 
so in rpm 1 this light the rpm light flashes and in rpm 2 the light remains glowing and this tells you you are at maximum rpm on that gear so you can switch gears or the max limit of the gear has been reached this is the information uh, given by this rpm 2 moving on to the next one that is third is gear indicator this is the gear indicator this shows on which gear your bike is if you change the gear the number displayed also changes like this i am on first gear now neutral neutral light will glow simple as that fourth one is coolant temperature that is displayed here this shows temperature of coolant present in the bike so as you can see this is the temperature it has total 13 bars when it is full it will show 13 bars the more bars that glows the hotter the coolant temperature is and if all the bars light up then you will get a signal as high coolant temperature displayed on your screen so the fifth point is fuel level indicator this is the fuel level indicator fuel level indicator has nine bars in it more bar glows that means more fuel in the tank when the bike shows low fuel level that means like this low fuel level that means fuel level drop to reserve and odometer changes to trip f this is the trip f this will come only when your bike is on low fuel when the bike shows low fuel level that means fuel level drop to reserve and odometer changes to trip f so trip f starts to count from 0 kilometers at the same time moving on to the next one sixth one is odometer the odometer this shows the total distance covered this is the odo odo this is this shows the total distance covered or traveled trip 1 and 2 shows the distance covered since last reset so if i am on trip 1 if i keep pressing the set button the trip 1 will reset to zero for example i have done a fuel refilling and uh, i want to reset the trip 1 so i can reset it and i can calculate how much i have traveled in a full tank same goes to the trip 2 as well trip 2 is zero trip 1 and 2 is always running and counts up to 999.90 so once you have reached triple nine point nine the trip 1 and 2 will automatically reset to zero moving on to the next one that is the seventh point time so we have time displayed over here here the time is now 5 10 but the actual time when i'm recording this video is different so let's try to change the time press the mode button and set button for 5 to 10 seconds while you are on odo screen as i'm now on odo screen it is really difficult to change the time mode button and set button keep pressing them hard for 5 to 10 seconds now the time is flashing so using the set button i can change the minutes so as you can see i am changing the minutes and hours can be changed using mode button only mode button can change the hours and only set button can change the minutes and to confirm the time press mode and set button both at the same time so the time will be saved last but not the least there is a hidden button we have this is the spot i can feel it if, if you can press it you'll know so what exactly this button it does you can turn off the abs using this button so when i press the button you will see this is the abs light this will flash so right now the light light is on that means abs is on now if you see the light is blinking that means i have turned off the abs so when the light is flashing that means abs is off and i'm pressing that button to turn on the abs 
now the light is glowing that means abs is on so that's how you can recognize if your abs is on or off so let's go through the basics of uh, outer console what are these leds so this this light over here which is flashing this is warning sign so as my bike is currently on low fuel that's why it is showing a warning sign then there is a button over here i'm not able to remember it what that button uh, what that led does so i'll put on the screen what exactly that led is all about the third one is abs as i have explained right now so upper part is this one is for upper dipper sign so if i turn on my high beam that light will flash then neutral then shift rpm as i have explained then engine sign this basically turns off when you turn on the bike so as you can see when i turn on the ignition the engine uh, check engine led turns off so if this led is flashing or glowing that means there is some problem with your engine and you have to get the bike serviced the last one is turn signals if your turn indicators are on this will flash so there are different uh, kind of informations which are displayed on the screen the bike is turned on since 7 minutes and average speed uh, when i last rode on my bike was 22 km an hour by pressing set button you can switch navigate through this options the average speed was 22 km per hour how many liters of fuel i will require to complete 100 km ride so this will show over here then the same how many liters fuel required to complete 100 km of ride and then what is the exact mileage my bike is giving that is displayed over here so this screen will fill up with digits once you are traveling for more than 15 to 20 minutes or 1 to 2 kilometers so if you are riding less than that then this screen will show blank the digits won't appear over here then the same kilometers per liter how what is the mileage of the bike so this is the service symbol and after 1011 kilometers i'll have to give my bike to service the same message again and then fuel efficiency so this shows how much kilometers the bike will travel with available fuel in the tank how much bike can travel with available fuel in the tank and since how much time the bike was on 7 minutes that is the screen is uh, the same screen will repeat again keep pressing set button and you can navigate through this different screens that is all that is the ktm console and the abs button which i have explained it is applicable for only duke 390 and rc 390 older version newer version doesn't matter it is the same so if i have uh, said anything wrong kindly comment down below and get it corrected so people won't be misguided if you have any questions regarding digital console of ktm or anything about me or my channel or ktms kindly comment down below i'll be happy to answer you guys if you like this video give a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one till then spawn night king out